Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sir Gabs. If you are new here, just hit subscribe and click on the notification bell for future videos. In this video, we will be talking about word problems involving parabolas. First, we have to recall the standard form of equation of the parabola, that is, the quantity of x minus h squared plus the positive negative 4p times uh, quantity y minus k. So this parabola is either opening upward or downward. It's opening upward if 4p is positive and downward if 4p is negative. We also have y minus k quantity squared equals the positive negative 4p times x minus h. This parabola is either opening right or left. If 4p is positive, it's opening right. If 4p is negative, it's opening left. We also have the general form of equation. We have ax squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0 if the parabola is opening upward or downward. This is just connected from here. Because if you notice, um, the x variable it has the square exponent, while we have the y variable as has um, a degree of 1 only. So it doesn't contain any square exponent. So that's why we don't have y squared term here. Okay. On the other hand, you also have the cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. This is either opening right or left. So this is coming from here. Um, this is only coming from here y is being squared here while x is in the degree of 1. So it's just like the reverse of the other. Okay. So in general, it is the, the, it is the general form of equation of the conics. Ax squared, plus, ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0 under the condition that either a, plus, either a or c is 0. So in the first equation here, c is assumed to be 0. Because we don't have the y squared term. Okay. Here in the second, a is assumed to be 0 because we don't have the variable, I mean we don't have the x squared term. Okay. So either a or 0, either a or c is 0. It cannot be both because if both a and c will be 0, then the equation becomes a straight line. We also have to recall the parts of the um, parabola. We have this parabola here opening upward. So we have the vertex, we have the focus, we have the direct rex, we have the axis of symmetry, and the lattice rectum. And also the endpoints of, of the lattice rectum will be included. You have to remember as well that the distance from the focus to the vertex is known as P or the focal distance. In some other books, they are using A or they are even using C sometimes. It doesn't matter. Then we also have the distance from the vertex to the direct rex is the same as the focal distance, which is also P. Okay, the length of the lattice rectum is 4 times of the focal distance or 4p. This equation, I mean this graph of the parabola opening upward, is represented by x minus h quantity squared equals 4p times y minus k. 4p this time is positive because, because it's opening upward. The vertex is hk as you know. p is the focal distance. The lattice rectum and the direct rex are parallel all the time. The axis of symmetry and the direct rex are always perpendicular as well. The axis of symmetry and the lattice rectum are perpendicular at the focus. So it's very specific to the focus now. So the axis of symmetry and the lattice rectum are perpendicular at the focus. So which means they are intersecting at the focus and they are forming the 90 degree angle. The axis of symmetry and the parabola are intersecting at the vertex. So the axis of symmetry and the parabola are intersecting at the vertex. Example 1, what is the opening of the parabola whose focus is below the vertex? Okay, so if you're good already or if you are um, mature enough in solving word problems, you can just picture this out in your mind and get the correct answer. But if not, okay, all you have to do is to illustrate. So if this is the focus, guys, and this is the vertex, obviously because the vertex is... I mean the focus is below the vertex. So if this is the focus, the vertex should be on top. Now, there's no other way for the opening but opening downward. Okay? So in short, if the focus of the parabola is below the vertex, its opening is downward. Example number two. What is the position of the directrix of the parabola whose lattice rectum is vertical? If you recall the statements in the recall, if you remember a while ago in the previous slides, I actually place some statements in there, and one of them is the lattice rectum is about the lattice rectum and the direct, direct relationship. 
Now, in this case, if you forgot that, all you have to do is to illustrate again. So, for the lattice rectum to be vertical, okay, for the lattice rectum to be vertical, the opening of the parabola should be either opening right or left. This is the only way we can get the lattice rectum. I mean, that's the only way we can get the vertical lattice rectum. Okay? And if you consider the direct rex, they are also vertical. So, in short, when the direct rex of the parabola is vertical, I mean, when the lattice rectum of the parabola is vertical, the direct rex is also vertical. Or the direct rex of a parabola is also vertical when the lattice rectum is vertical and the other way around. Now, let's proceed to example number three. What is the vertex length of the lattice rectum and focal distance of the parabola represented by the equation quantity y minus 2 squared equals negative 2x plus 8? You have to consider three things right now because there are three asks in the, in the problem. So we have the vertex, we are to find the length of the lattice rectum, and we are to find the focal distance. But honestly, they are all corrected. First, you have to notice that the equation of the parabola given is in this format. So y minus k quantity squared equals negative 4p times x minus h. But what's lacking here is um, this portion on the right-hand side. Because the right-hand side doesn't have this form of negative 4p times x minus h. Okay? So all you have to do is to find a way. So from the given, find a way that this format here in the right-hand side becomes like this one. So some things should be in the parentheses and one should be a multiplier. So from here, you can just factor out negative 2. Okay, so this is factoring. So you have y minus 2 quantity squared equals negative 2 take out. So negative 2x divided by negative 2 is x. And 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. So you have here this, this, um, this format, negative 2 times x minus 4. This is just the same with this one. Except that we have, um, we have made this this um, portion like this for us to see the h and the value of 4p okay so it's now very clear that the vertex is at 4 and 2 so 4 is h and 2 is k okay so you have to, to be careful in getting h and k because h is the pair of x and k is the pair of y because others will always get the left side first sometimes no? so you have to be you know that's mistake territory of the students, so make sure you will not be you will not but you will not be tricked with the sequence. Always consider the, the h as the pair of x and k as the pair of y. As for the length of the lattice rectum, you have negative 4p equals negative 2. Okay, because negative 4p is here and it is the exact reflection of negative 2 here. So which means negative 4p is equal to negative 2 here. Okay? So from that you can actually get the you can get rid of the negative sign to get the positive value of 4p because length is always positive. Okay, so 4p is equal to 2, which means the length of the lattice rectum is equal to 2. Then we have the focal distance. You, you can still use the negative 4p equals negative 2 um, idea. So from here, you can just um, divide both sides by negative 4 so that you will come up with p equals 1 half. Okay, so again, the goal is just to get P. So that means you have to remove negative 4. So in order for us to do that, you can just divide the whole thing by negative 4 or divide, divide both sides by negative 4. So you will come up with positive 1 half. So in short, the focal distance is equal to 0 0.5 or 1 half. So we have completed all three asks in the problem. So we have therefore the vertex of the parabola given in the problem is at 4, 2. The length of the lattice rectum is 2 units. And its focal distance is one half the unit. We have example number four. What is the equation of the axis of symmetry of the parabola if the endpoints of its lattice rectum are at two negative seven and two uh, two positive one? So from here, we have this um, illustration. You have two negative seven here down on, in the fourth quadrant. You don't need to be very exact. And then you have um, positive two and one. So this is now the length of the lattice rectum. And the parabola is either opening right or opening left. So it can be opening right or it can be opening left. But we don't really need it because we are only to get the equation of the axis of symmetry. Okay? So where is the axis of symmetry? Remember, remember that the, the lattice rectum and the axis of symmetry are always 
perpendicular. So which means this is the axis of symmetry. So if this is the lattice rectum, this is the axis of symmetry, they are always perpendicular specifically at what? They are always perpendicular at the focus. Okay? So from here, where is the focus? You can actually see that the focus is the midpoint of these two points because these are endpoints of the lattice rectum and the midpoint is always the focus. Okay? So from there, you can get the equation of the axis of symmetry. Remember, it's horizontal. Notice now. Notice that the axis of symmetry is horizontal. Therefore, the equation is represented by y equals b. And as I said, when you solve for b, you can just get um, the y coordinate of the focus because b is the intersection. b is the intersection of the axis of symmetry at the y-axis. So in other words, this point here. What is this point here in the y-axis? Okay, so what is this number? That's what we are going, going to get. And that is just actually the y-coordinate of the focus. Okay? So again, we are looking for this one, for this, uh, for this y-value. And this is just the y-coordinate of the focus. Focus, again, is the midpoint of the two points. So all you have to do is to get the y-coordinate of the midpoint. So just the y-coordinate of the midpoint of these two points. If you will get the, the focus or the point in both the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate of the focus, it's totally fine, but it's not really part of the ask of the problem. So you are only to get the equation of the axis of symmetry. If you want to be wise, then you will just get the y-coordinate um, for to save time at least. Okay. So from here, y midpoint, I mean the y coordinate of the midpoint is 1 plus negative 7. So you'll just add y coordinates, 1 and negative 7, and divide it by 2. So that's actually negative 3. So in other words, this is negative 3 in the y axis. Okay? Therefore, the equation is y plus negative 3. In general, that's y plus 3 equals 0. Therefore, the equation of the axis of symmetry of the parabola described in the problem is y plus 3 equals 0. Okay, so that's it guys. Thank you for watching my videos.